What's up, y'all? It's Rocky. I wanted to read something that I dedicated to my late cousin, Scooby. R.I.P. Sleepless nights. Dreams are no more. All I have is that last vision, lying there, cold and lifeless. Now the hardest thing to do is to move on. But how do you continue to breathe when you've lost your air? The spirit is stronger than ever, too inevitable to bear. Everything I touch, taste, and smell reminds me of the past. The fact that I can't tell you I love you anymore is too hard to gasp. I get my days confused with my nights because my days are so gloomy. The phrase gone forever makes me sick to my stomach. I throw up in tears and blow up with fears. While you're resting in peace, what about me? At times I find myself bipolar and stuck on what could have happened. No, what should have happened. So I pray, pour my heart out to God to keep the pain away. It helps, and it also reminds me not to blame myself. His work is never a mistake, but you're not human if you, if you never question why did he take a life that was so sincere, a life that we didn't intend to end so near. But as I stare in dark light, my angel gives me sight. He is my angel, my guardian, my protector, a man that lived by protector. Even though my conscience is getting better and healing with time, I know things will never be the same. No birthdays, no holidays, no more family gatherings. So I gather up the memories. And as I say my prayers at night, I say a separate one for my soul, holding my heart close and pray it never gets cold. I'm living off internal instead of physically. Everything left with you. I'm not whom I used to be. Because when they murdered you, they murdered me. November 25th, 2011. I will never forget.